supply chain structure what are the drivers of supply chain performance to recollect we have two types one is we have got the efficiency which means it is cost based the other is the responsiveness which means how fast we can deliver in the market this is more demand oriented from the customer now there are four factors the first being the inventory if you take in the efficiency based which is cost based inventory levels are in anticipation so stocks have to be stored but if you look at in the responsive stage inventory levels all operate on the basis of just in time you have an efficient vendor management information system the second is the transportation in case of cost since the locations are few your inbound cost is low outbound cost is high it is the reverse in case of responsiveness several locations catering catering to several segments of the market so you tend to have higher inbound costs but lower outbound costs facilities efficiency we spoke about cement plants economics of scale few locations so in that case you have only very few facilities unlike in the responsive stage where you have several locations manuf manufacturing several types of products the last being your information a very crucial part we are talking about your vendor management what sort of information do you need to convey to your vendor who can produce a product which is efficient in terms of cost so in that case the supplier would be involved in the collaborative stage in the design of the product stage unlike in the responsive stage where the supplier would create the product or produce the raw material to you depending on what is the ultimate product that needs to be given to the customer what should be the ideal strategic fit in the supply chain now if you look at this graph we have certain demand we have an uncertain demand most organizations would love to be in the implied uncertainty spectrum this is a cross between what the customer wants and what is the anticipated demand now you find that on the x axis we have a responsive supply chain we have an efficient supply chain most companies would like their product or service to fall in the this strategic fit now i want to go back to the example of avaya which has got a hub in singapore this hub caters to the asia pacific region of the world now it covers countries like india china australia they have facilities in india in china in thailand in korea now company which caters to the hardware requirements of close to 90% of the fortune 500 companies have been able to reduce their lead time the time needed to deliver the product to the customer from 14 days to 2 days now this would be an ideal example of a company being in a strategic fit in the implied uncertainty spectrum for achieving the strategic fit what are the parameters that we need to look at the first is what is going to be the lot size now we spoke about stable and mature markets in stable and mature markets we have standard lot size where there is no variation in terms of the demand there are fewer variants so what happens is the customer knows or the market is fixed but unlike in the responsive you will have larger variants you will have more products to offer classic example being hindustan lever which has got personal care products they have got hygiene products they have got food products so lot sizes would come in the form of skus stock keeping units or completely knock down condition in terms of motorcycles or scooters response time the time needed to respond to the market are we going to be as quick and fast because in structure supply chain structure the most important factor is how can we be cost efficient and how can we also be responsive at the same time service levels how fast can we deliver the service that is required to the end consumer the other being the variety stable and mature markets have got standard products so the varieties are very few 
unlike in the responsive market in the FMCG sector where you need to create several types of stop keeping units for different segments of the market. The price, since in the stable and mature market the prices are fixed, the end cost to the consumer does not vary. But if you look at a responsive market, depending on what the customer demands, because this customer in the responsive market is willing to absorb the difference in cost, he is not cost conscious, so you will have multiple prices for multiple segments. The last is how innovative can you be in achieving the strategic fit. Stable and mature markets, innovation does not play a key role, but if you look at the responsive markets, innovation is very, very important. Let us come to what is known as a push and pull based change structures. I was talking about push being a cost based strategy, pull being a responsive based strategy. Now, push is working in anticipation of the demand, it is what we call made to sell. We all know that forecasting is a very difficult technique, but because of the tools that are available, we are able to estimate what could be the anticipated demand and companies produce keeping this anticipated demand in mind. But if you look at the pull, pull is it is a made to engineer, a made to order product. It is also different from the push strategy. Products are designed and executed based on what are the needs and wants of the consumer. 